Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I am showing you my PS3 and how dirty it is. It has been four years, I believe, since I have had this. It's coming on four, I believe, for it's past that. Uh, I don't know. But here's my PS3. Today I'm going to open it up and see how dirty it is. I have did the very simple vacuum trick where you just take you know vacuum cleaner the tube thing and just suck up from the back and the and there's the side vents but uh, I never opened it up mostly because of the three screws that are very difficult to star screws they have like holes in them very difficult to get into they purposely did that so not anyone could just open the console to, I don't know, but it was very stupid and luckily they have changed that. Oh, I gotta remove this sticker <laughs> that's been here for so long. I don't know, it's been there for like maybe two years. These stickers on here are uh, from Guitar Hero. Oh boy, I think I'll just have to rip it. Uh, there we go. And the grand. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Um, I'm watching a tutorial how to open it up and the dude's PlayStation is totally clean because he does it once in a while but this is my first time. Oh my goodness. Is that mold? <laughs> no, it's dust. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't take a I didn't take a moment to uh, grab the air can. I got a can of air somewhere. A little slightly wet rag. I got it nice and wet and then just squeezed the hell out of it. So I squeezed until I can get another drop so it um, shouldn't damage anything. But, uh, that's clean. There you go. Oh, that's great! Oh boy, I don't have any place to put these. Next part's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be taking off uh, the power stuff. But holy shit. Let's get a closer look at this. Like, that is serious dust. That is some serious dust there. Oh my. Maybe should I grab it so it doesn't go any deeper? Deeper into the stuff. Nice and clean. I don't know if I should do that. Whew. Why does the can get so cold when you use it? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's stained in dust and fur. Like for as long as I had this, I have had a cat and a dog. It's truly horrifying. But well, we're gonna make it nice and shiny. New once again. Alright. Well, it took a while. But we got her. Now, this is... Ugh. This was a little frustrating. There was two screws, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into a lot of them. They're the same with inside. But, I, I couldn't find the right screwdriver until I finally found this bad boy that worked so whew, I didn't have to strip them working forever with a flat head now this is a little tough because there's like 
the two pins or whatever. Get in my way. Come on. Ooh, this is pretty tight in there. Sorry, I stopped recording. That really scared me because um, I was pulling it up and then while I was pulling it, I really pulled it up really high in this one side. I was like, no, I hope I didn't bend the pins. And I saw like because I did that, I managed to pull it from the other side. But the pins look fine. I'll bring you a little closer to see the pins I'm talking about. So if I finally could focus these uh two little pin things that go up that touch stuff oh shut up but um yeah we got her we got her and of course more dust I wish you could see a little better uh but uh yeah there's a lot of dust supply thing you know that's pretty dirty I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it hard oh maybe I shouldn't blow it over it shit all right well that's done next next part is taking out the disk drive all right now we got the disk drive thing out it was insanely scary doing that but we got her uh, okay I think this is that supposed to hold it up then? I guess so. Shit. Right, no. no, no that just goes right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is stressful. But if I can't do this, I ain't building a stupid PC. Okay. Is that the hard drive right there? Oh, that must be the hard drive. Yeah. Alright, now the fan. I took out the screws that uh, I needed to take out. And we lift it up. That is a dirty boy. Gonna set off the side here. Oh yeah, that's uh, pretty caked in there. Oh boy, I, I don't know what I should do. Maybe what I'll do first is try to pick it up like that. So I don't want to blow it everywhere. So I gotta just. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that is caked. Come on, Ash. Come on. It's like being blown out the back. That is Kate in there. Um, I got some Q-tips I completely forgot about. I used one. Uh, let's use another. Maybe we can get this a little loose because air alone is not working all that great. Oh my goodness, that is horrifying. Oh god. <sighs> Alright, here comes the test. Oh boy, plug in the power. 
Watch as it blows up. The red light's on. See if the patrol will turn on. Oh shit, it turned on. So listen to that baby purr. Blowing nice cold air. Real nice cold. Oh yeah. That baby's working. Now, the big test is to make sure that uh, the hard drive is working. I mean, that uh, the disk drive thing, you know, the disk. So, I think there is already a disk in there. Yeah, right there. Red Dead Redemption. Fuck it, let's click on it. My, my dad's sleeping. Yep. Oh shit. This is scaring me. This is... <gasps> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, it seems like it's working. Plugged it in right, the disc thing. There was a little blue tab thing that was scary as hell to push in. I thought I had it in, but I apparently didn't. I actually. Oh my goodness, that that sound is so sexy. Yeah, it's working. Now, sadly, I don't really have any hard games for it to bench press. You know, uh, like The Last of Us. That that game made my flipping PS3 shoot like a jet engine it was about to fly i swear it gets loud at times but now since it is clean it should be perfectly fine and it will not overheat and hopefully will not melt it feels nice and cold but it's only been on for a few seconds so yeah i'm pretty sure it'll be fine it's gonna live a little longer just a tiny bit until it gets more dust <laughs> But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video very much. I did. It was fun. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright? You better.